This plugin is unbelievable. It has so many features. Let me show you. It is called WP Master Toolkit. It's a French plugin and it's basically an all-in-one plugin. So you know the type of plugin that works in a modular way and you can turn on and off any features you want. You have basically dozens of features that you can enable or disable based on your needs. And there are some plugins in the community that are very well known and respected like the Admin Insight Enhancements or WP Extended. So it's a type of plugin where if you need to activate something you will load the feature but if you do not activate most of the features it means that it won't load and it won't slow down your website and the most well-known plugin in the ecosystem is admin and site enhancements based on the number of active installations but if you look at the number of free modules here 55 and if you look at the number of free modules in wp master toolkit 104 free modules and it's only in the free version. I call this the transformer effect. It means basically not less is more, but more is more. So newcomers come with more free features and well, I think it's just good for us. So WP Master Toolkit is a new plugin. It's been around for just a few months and it's a great one. I'm going to show you in this video how it works, but it's basically the same. It's all-in-one plugins so you can do a search for WP Master Toolkit you can install and activate it and let me show you my favorite features in this uh, toolkit so you have a new menu called WP Master Toolkit and it's going to be organized in different categories you also have a search feature if you need and you will have a new menu called the activated modules it means that you have one menu that centralizes all the activated module if you need to quickly disable something so there are so many features that of course i won't talk about all of them and i guess that for some features you will find them very useful and I won't talk about it. So I'm sorry, uh, you can just do your own research and check all the different features, but I will go one by, I mean, one category by one category and I will talk to you about my favorite ones. So we have Hide Admin Notice, which is very useful. I'm gonna say very useful features a lot. Uh, we should sort the features in must have, nice to have, uh, something like that. I think this is a nice to have Hide Admin Notice. Uh, hide admin bar. So let me just enable the first one just to show you how it works. So you enable this feature, you click on save and you will, it will create a new menu with the according settings. So for hide admin bar, you can specify for which user role. So if you want to hide the admin bar for a specific role you have on your website, you can do this from here. So this is the way the plugin works. So you will have new menus according to what you toggle on. And this is the, new, the menu I was talking about. So activated modules and you will have all the activated modules here. So then administration, we have the redirect after logout and redirect after login, which is very, very useful. I'm, I'm not sure if I, I can talk about nice to have or must have because it all depends on your project. So it's probably a must have for some type of websites and completely useless for others. So if you do your errands here and you can toggle anything you want. So uh, maintenance mode and password protection are very, very great features. Uh, I think it's among the best here. We have maintenance mode, password protection, cleanup admin bar can be useful as well. Login and logout menu. So this one is also uh, quite useful if you don't have this type of features in your theme so it depends on your theme but if we go into menu you need a classic theme for this so i'm using astra right now and if you go to menu now i have this new option to have a login or a logout text menu items in your header so if you need this uh, let's go back to master toolkit administration and then uh, this is also very, very uh, much appreciated. This is the plugin and theme rollback. So if you want to roll back any themes or plugins because you encounter some issues, bugs, anything that's happening on your website, you have a rollback here. So you can definitely remove a lot of plugins with this simple and straightforward plugin master toolkit because you don't need a rollback plugin anymore and you don't need the plugin for redirect after logout login. Uh, any longer as well and also for SVG upload you don't need this could be done with a, a snippet of code I know but you can just toggle this on SVG upload you can open all external links in the new tab a revision control this is about your database and you also have the ability to export posts and pages uh, duplicate content this is very useful let me 
try this one. I think it works on any post type. Yes, page, post, of post. So if I go to page, I will have the duplicate option now. And this removes uh, yet another plugin. So we don't need a plugin for rollback. We don't need a plugin for duplicate content. We don't need a plugin for so many things. Let me go back here. And I know I will miss some features, unfortunately, but <laughs> there are content, other posts per page. Measure. This is media encoder, media cleaner. All right, this is not the features I'm looking for right now. This is a feature I want, code snippet. So you can remove the plugin you have for code snippet. Let's say you are using right now WP code. Um, well, you can remove it and just use this instead. So it's very basic. So if you need more, you would need to use a plugin like Fluent Snippet, WP code. But just in case you have, you just want to implement very basic snippet of codes, you could use just this one, code snippets. You have a new first level menu here and you can just add a snippet. It's a very developer way to add a, a snippet because you have the black background and everything. So we can feel that it's, it has been made by a developer. So I would like a more user-friendly uh, interface for this part of the plugin, but it's all right, it's working. So let's go back here. And now uh, maybe I can go faster just to showcase the rest of the plugin. So this is the custom code part. You can also manage the robot.txt file as well as add file. And um, you can disable many things. You can, in the pro version, I'm not talking about the pro version here, but you do have one. Uh, it's brand new and I will link it in the description, but you can disable comments. Uh, the free version, you can disable Gutenberg, you can disable emojis, you can disable REST API if you don't need it. If you know you don't need it, you can disable this script. I guess if it's here, it doesn't break your website most of the time. You can even disable the func WP mail function. So if you don't send any email whatsoever, can be useful. I think it's a very marginal return on investment, but it's just one click, so why not? You will find most of the basic security features like good practice uh, here, like disable XML RPC, which is very important if you do not use it and you probably don't use it. So disable this, disable a file edit, you can hide WordPress version, you can disallow register user. If it's a very basic website, you can probably turn this on. Uh, lock site URL, lock admin, blacklisted, four strong password. As you can see, you have dozens of features. Hide login errors, disallow plugin, team uploads, and yep, hide PHP version right here. You can auto regenerate salt keys. You can you can toggle these on. It's nothing nothing very scary. You can just go for it. You also have a limit logging attempt. So if you toggle this on, you will have a new menu. Here here, uh, limit logging attempts, and you have a few settings like how many logging attempts, how many times before it's blocked, definitely blocked. And this is for the security part. And then we have uh, the rest of it, WooCommerce, other features. So this is to disable sitemap, the basic sitemap of WordPress. If you're using a sitemap from an SEO plugin, you can export users, you can clean some stuff into the profiles. Uh, you can duplicate menus, uh, which is uh, interesting as well. This plugin, these two features, sorry, are so uh, useful. So the file manager, sometimes you absolutely need just to have a shortcut if you want to just go faster. You don't want to go through FileZilla or your hosting. You want to access your files uh, and you would need a file manager plugin for this. And you have a file manager right here as well as an SMTP mailer. So, so this one is also very straightforward. So it means that if you want to do more for your email delivery, if you want to have more uh, features around this, you should install an SMTP plugin, of course. But if you just want to improve your deliverability, I mean, if you don't have specific needs, this can do the job. You have a you have basically an SMTP plugin right here. So, all right, a local Gravat avatar, so you can replace Gravatar management with media management, which is a good idea as well. So this is all the different features. I know I skipped a lot of these features, sorry, but I think you, you get the point and you can just activate what could be useful for you and just leave the rest off. And of course, in, you have the settings panel here and you can import or export your settings. So you can do this once 
and then export all the settings and use it again on new websites to go a lot faster to deploy new website, new projects. So this is a must have plugin if you ask me. And I look forward to have your opinion on WP Master Toolkit, which is, I think, the best plugin of its category right now, all in one plugin. So you could replace five, 10, 15, 20 plugins. I don't know, it depends how you work. Sometimes you work with code snippets, sometimes you work more with plugins in a modular way with plugins. You could probably ditch a lot of plugins and by just using one like WP Master Toolkit and it's very performance driven. So you just load what you activate and it's very small features. So it's close to nothing in terms of performance impact. So what do you think of this plugin? Let me know into the comment section. I hope you discover something new and very exciting today. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you want to discover new plugins, new themes and new tutorials for WordPress. See you in the next video. Bye.